Okay, we're joined now by Casey Rogers. And for first question, let's just go to Sam McEwen, uh, Omaha World Herald. Casey, I know you've only been, uh, you know, in the league for a couple of years, um, but you've been through this now a couple of times since 2018. Uh, what's hard about stopping the run in the Big Ten? What, what's challenging about about facing those teams? And why have you guys struggled? Uh, yeah, I think the one thing about the Big Ten that is uh, it's pretty uh, no, noticeable is uh, the, the offensive line linemen that you see in the Big Ten. Uh, they're, they're big guys. And, uh, you know, we have to be able to counter that on the other side of the ball uh, with, uh, with strength and technique and stuff like that. Um, I think sat Saturday, you know, it was obviously a disappointment overall. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of stuff that we need to work on uh, that uh, that we have this week in practice, and, and that we're going to continue to practice and uh, and work on. Um, but yeah, no, to be able to, to be able to win football games, you got to be able to stop the run, and uh, and you know, and after that, after you stop the run, you got you earn the right to rush the passer, and uh, but that starts with stopping the run, and uh, you know, I think the. To, to be able to do that, you got to really work on your technique, and you know it starts in the weight room too. You got to be strong to be able to uh, work with those big boys up front. And uh, I think that we just got to keep working, and uh, and we have, and uh, we're not going to stop working. So, uh, so, I guess I'm guessing that up until the point you came to college, you were probably one of the bigger, stronger players on your team, maybe the biggest and the strongest player. So you get in that game last year against Wisconsin, then I think you played against Iowa too. And then playing Ohio State and so on and so on. What kind of what kind of culture shock was that when you get in games, even with your own offensive line at Nebraska, about how strong and how tough and how how much endurance you have to have to play against that kind of lineman? Yeah, so I mean, it's it's not even comparable to high school. So you could be the biggest guy you want in in high school football, or you could be the biggest guy on the field. And, and dominate in high school football, but once you get on the same field as these elite offensive linemen, it, it's you can't even compare it. Um, you know, it's it's not something that every high school kid can just go right to college, especially uh, on the line and in the trenches. It's it's very uncommon for uh, you know true freshman or redshirt freshman to be able to come right in and be able to uh, you know go head to head with some of those offensive linemen. Um, so yeah, it, it takes a little bit to you know get used to that strength and get used to the speed of the uh, speed of the game, but uh, but yeah, no, I mean it's it, it's you got to be able to give full effort and you got to be able to be tough. You know, I mean sometimes you don't get knocked down, you just got to get right back up, and uh, you know Coach T uh, likes to say you got to win the one. So it's each play at a time. Um, I, last year uh, playing in those games, you know that's that's something that I worked I worked every day for to be able to play in those type of games. So. Uh, it's everything that we train for, you know. Coach T uh, does a great job coaching us with uh, with everything, you know, uh, technique, you know, uh, the speed of the game, you know, everything. So it's it's nothing that uh, wasn't expected, but uh, but yeah, you know, it's it's like I said, you can be the strongest guy in high school, but once you step on a college football field, it's a completely different game. Yep. Next question, Parker Gabriel, Lincoln Journal Star. Hey Casey, uh, just curious, what what have you seen from from Iowa's offensive line uh, overall? Besides maybe the fact that they're big dudes, um, and and what what is important in particular uh, against the way that in combating the way that they want to run the ball against you? Yeah, so uh, Iowa's a big uh, left and right team. They like to they like to stretch the ball out and and uh, you know get the ball to the edges, and it's and that the offensive linemen they're quick. You know they're not they're not they're not huge, but they're not small, obviously. So uh, they uh, they got they're athletic. They're really athletic, and they can move left to right pretty fast. You know, uh, to be able to uh, you know go against that, you gotta we gotta be just as fast and just as strong. So uh, this week we've been really you know working, uh, getting knocked back, and uh, you know being able to stay stay in our gaps and stuff like that. You know, uh, Iowa obviously this game is huge. It's a hero's trophy, and I think everyone in the locker room knows that. And uh, you know we want that trophy back. So. Uh, we uh we've been working really hard this this week in practice. You know I think uh, you know last week's all said and done. You know it's it's eh, we put it behind us. We learned from it. Um, we've totally moved on to Iowa now, and we're ready to go and uh, and compete with them. Next up is Steve Sipple, Lincoln Journal Star. 
Okay, one more question about last week. You mentioned you learned from it. What did you learn from it? In particular, there's a lot of discussion about uh, what practices were like last week. What were your impression of practices last week? Uh, you know, so I'll, with the first question, uh, what did we learn from it? That That's not the standard of Nebraska football, um, especially coming out and competing like that. Um, I think uh, I think the what my impressions of last week's practice were was, was that it was uh, there wasn't as much juice as there normally is, um, and you know against against weeks moving back before before Illinois, so Penn State, uh, you know Northwestern, there, there's a, there was a good amount of juice in, in those practices. I just think uh, last week really business like, but just didn't have that didn't have that juice in practice. That's unacceptable. And uh, that's something that we learned was, hey, you, you practice how you play. So we uh, we brought, you know, a lot of guys really stepped up this week, um, you know, and, and practice was looking the way it should be. And uh, but, yeah, that's uh, when I say learn from it, you know, you, you learn from the past, you don't live in it. You know, that's what Coach T says a lot is the past is to be learned from and not lived in. Uh, so, you know, we, we watch film in that game. We look at what we did wrong. We learn from it. We move on. We're, we're now on to the next week. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Final question from for Casey comes from Brian Christofferson, Nebraska 24-7. Hey, Casey, um, does this team, you think, have good, like, peer leadership or accountability? Do you feel like it's a team where guys aren't afraid to, to get after each other? I mean, do you see that where it doesn't always have to come from the coaches, um, the critiques or criticisms, and it can come from each other? Absolutely, yeah. Um, when when someone's not playing up to the standard of Nebraska football, there's definitely going to be people on you. Uh, and I think uh, at, at least in the D line room, the older guy, well, the older guy uh, Ben Stilley, he does a great job with that. Uh, Colin Miller does a great job with that. Will Honus, all all, all the guys who are, are the vets, you know, they they hold that standard pretty tight. Um, you know, and I think last week maybe that standard wasn't held as tight as it should be, and that's what happens when 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 things go that way. Uh, but that's another thing we, that we learned. You know, we got to hold this standard. We got to hold it tight. And, and yeah, I would say that this team is uh, – there's a lot of vets on the team who hold uh, younger guys or, or guys who still have been around for a while or even older guys holding other older guys accountable. Um, that happens in Nebraska football, and that's the way it should be. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Casey. Yep. And that's all we have for today. But just a reminder, media, that uh, different –